Hello dear students, this is Sonu Kumar and you are watching me on YouTube. Today we are going to discuss class 11 chemistry chapter number 5 states of matter. So you can see here first of all there are total 8 sessions. In the first session we will discuss about the different states of matter and explain intermolecular forces. Second, to introduce gaseous state as a state of matter. Theoretical portions are matter exists in the three states, all of you know very well, that is solid, liquid and gas. Solid have a definite volume and shape, liquid also have a definite volume but no definite shape and gases have neither a definite volume nor a definite shape. Now let's discuss about the characteristics, properties of solid, liquid and gas. So you can see here in the solid, in the liquid and gases, I have just distributed into the three parts. Particles are very closely packed in solid, particles are loosely packed in liquid, particles are very loosely packed or freely packed in the gaseous state. Voids are extremely small in solid, voids are relatively larger in liquid and voids are very large in gases. Interparticle forces are large in interparticle forces are interparticle force means you know means bonding of the atoms with each other it's a very large force in the solid intermediate force in the liquid and approx negligible in gaseous particle motion restricted to vibratory motion in solid particle motion is very slow in liquid and particle motion is very rapid and also random in gas density of solid is high density is lower than solid and higher than gases in liquid gases generally have low densities Solid show definite shape and definite volume, liquid show definite shape but not definite volumes and gaseous neither show definite shape nor definite volumes. Molecular possess least energy in solid, molecular have higher energies than that of solids and molecules are more energetic in, in gaseous. So you have seen they are less compressible and thermal expansion. I am talking about solid, liquid slightly higher compressible and thermal expansion than solids and if I talk about the gaseous, they are highly compressible and thermal expansion. So this was the characteristics of solid, liquid and gas. Now I am talking about the intermolecular forces or Van der Waal forces. Have you heard the Van der Waal forces? I hope all of you have heard this word in the chemical bonding chapter. The three states of matter differ mainly due to the difference in the intermolecular forces of attraction. That is the force of attraction existing between the molecules of a substance which is greater and the intermolecular forces higher is the melting point or boiling point and vice versa. Question is intermolecular forces or Van der Waal forces. Intermolecular forces may be differed from one state to another state because of the intermolecular forces of attraction and the forces of attraction exist between the two molecules between a substance as you know very well if they are having a greater intermolecular forces then they will have high melting point or boiling point and if they have low intermolecular forces they will have low melting point and boiling point it was firstly proposed by a Dutch scientist called J.D. Van der Waal J.D. Van der Waal has given just like Van der Waal force is directly proportional to molecular weight, Van der Waal force is directly proportional to atomic weight, Van der Waal force is directly proportional to boiling point. It is formed as the result of attraction of unlike charges. Intermolecular forces does not include the force between the oppositely charged, that is ionic bond, and the forces that hold the atoms of a molecular together, that is called covalent bond. Strong dipole-dipole interactions operating between the hydrogen and more electronegativities like fluorine, oxygen and nitrogen is called hydrogen bond. Now if I talk about the types of intermolecular forces, the intermolecular forces divided into the different parts. The first part is dipole-dipole interaction. The dipole-dipole interaction exists between the permanent polar molecules like hydrochloric acid, ammonia, sulfur dioxide, etc. The molecules having a permanent dipole moment, it is represented as delta plus and delta minus. As you can see here in HCl, delta plus, delta minus. And you can see here 
the hydrogen interaction towards the chlorine that describes you the intermolecular hydrogen bonding right for example the melting point and boiling point of h2s are greater than those of ph3 because h2s has higher dipole moment than ph3 and this force is due to the electrical interactions among dipole or neighboring molecules so you must remember the dipole dipole interaction these are two types attractive forces between unlike poles and repulsive forces between the like poles this force is generally weak and in order to 3 to 4 kilojoule per mole significant only when molecules are in close contact greater the dipole moment stronger are the dipole dipole interaction as the molecule is more polar dipole dipole interactions are more and boiling point of substance will be more dipole dipole interaction in solid is inversely proportional to r cube dipole dipole interaction in solid is proportional 1 by r cube mean that is inversely proportional to the cube of radius dipole dipole interaction of rotating molecules is also inversely proportional to the r to the power 6 is the distance between the polar molecules dipole induced dipole interactions as i have told you there are different types of dipole dipole so here this was the first type as i have already informed you now let's move to the second type that is dipole induced dipole interaction so you can see here dipole induced dipole interaction present between the polar molecule and non-polar neutral molecule greater the dipole moment of the polar molecule and the polarizability of the non-polar molecule greater is the magnitude of these forces permanent dipole of the polar molecule induces dipole on the electrically neutral molecule by deforming into the electrical cloud and attractive forces develop that you can see in HCl hydrogen and chlorine delta plus and delta minus this is very much important for you you must look at this figure also so the permanent dipole of the polar molecule induces dipole on the electrically neutral molecule by deforming into electrical cloud and attractive forces develop so H delta plus and Cl delta minus Example, polarizability of noble gases increases with the size from helium to radon. Therefore, their stability in water increases from helium to radon. As you can see here, the permanent dipole moment of a polar molecule and non-polar molecule. Induced dipole, induced dipole interaction that is also known as London or dispersant forces. It exists between non-polar molecules like hydrogen, nitrogen, methane, carbon tetrachloride. Here electron clouds is systematically distributed, hence they do not have polarity. When both nonpolar molecules approach each other, the electron cloud of a molecule becomes distorted and produce instantaneous dipole. It induces dipole in the neighboring molecule this dipole then interact with each other as you can see here the atom a and atom b systematical distribution of electronic charge occur atom a and atom b you can see the instantaneously dipole more electron density on the right side and atom b with the induced dipole and atom A more electron density on the left hand side, atom B with the induced dipole. So in this both the diagrams you will be aware about the London forces which are energies are in the range of 1 to 10 kilojoule per mole. It is significant only to the short distances. Magnitude of London forces depends on polarizability and the geometry of the smaller molecule or atom which is less polarizability has a less smaller dispersion forces. And the larger molecule or a heavier atom is more polarizable and has a large dispersion forces. These are always attractive forces and proportional to 1 by r to the power 6. Here r is the distance between the two interactive particles.
more spread out shapes possesses higher dispersion forces than those compact molecules which minimize molecular contract hence possesses lower dispersion forces normal pentane boiling point is 309.4 kJ it's a long chain you know five carbon chains 2,2 dimethyl propane neopentane it's also known as so its boiling point is 282.7 kJ and it is a compact change so now the London dispersion forces increases with size molecular weight surface area and the number of electrons methane CH4 silicon hydride SiH4 germanium hydride GeH4 so you can see here methane silicon and germane the boiling points of methane is 112 kJ silicon is 161 kJ and germanium is 183 kJ what is thermal energy thermal energy of matter is responsible for different types of motion of its constituent particles thermal energy of matter is responsible for different types of motion of its constituent particle it is a measure of average kinetic energy of the molecules of the substance and it is directly proportional to the absolute temperature so I hope all of you understand about the thermal energy. Now let's discuss the intermolecular forces versus thermal energy. Intermolecular forces try to bring molecules closer but the thermal energy keeps the particle away from each other. When the thermal energy of the molecule is reduced by lowering the temperature, the gases can be very easily liquefied. If thermal energy predominates over intermolecular forces the substances would change from solid liquid and gas if intermolecular forces predominate over the thermal energy then substance change from gas liquid solids predominance of thermal energy solid to liquid liquid to gas and predominance of interparticles interactive energy the gaseous state the gaseous state is the simplest and show shows greatest uniformity or uniformity in behavior gases have the following general characteristics gases have a definite shape and volume gases are do gases have definite shape and volume no gases do not have definite shape and volume gases have no definite shape and volume gases are highly compressible into the smaller volumes gases expand without limit a gas sample can occupy completely and uniformly the volume of any container gases exert pressure gases diffuse rapidly through each other to form a homogeneous mixture what are the parameters of gases so the parameters of gases are volume pressure right so the parameters of gases first one is volume volume of the container or it can you can say of the container is the volume of the gas sample container is the volume of the gas sample volume is expressed in liter milliliter or cubic centimeter or cubic meter one liter is equal to 1000 milliliter one decimeter q or thousand centimeter q si unit of meter q and si, SI unit are meter q and cgs unit are centimeter q what is pressure it is the force exerted by the gas per unit area of the walls of the container so pressure is equal to force upon area force is equal to mass into acceleration an area you know very well length into length length into breadth so here the pressure exerted by a gas is due to the kinetic energy and the formula of kinetic energy is half mva square of the gaseous molecule kinetic energy of the gaseous molecule increases as the temperature is increased so pressure of the gas is directly proportional to the temperature pressure of the gas is directly proportional to the temperature and what is the unit of pressure i hope everybody know it is pascal and you can say Newton per meter square so here the unit of pressure is Newton per meter square it is also known as Pascal or atmospheric bar pressure one atmospheric bar pressure is equal to 76 centimeter mercury Hg is equal to 760 mm Hg is equal to 760 torr which is also equal to 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square and that is equal to 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 pascal that is 1.013 bar so si unit of pressure is pascal which is defined as the pressure exerted when a force of one newton acts on a one meter square area right 
Now, what is temperature? Temperature of the gas is the measured in centigrade degrees or Celsius with the help of thermometer. The SI unit of temperature is Kelvin or absolute degree. Other units of temperature are degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit. Degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. If I talk about the Kelvin, Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273 and degree Fahrenheit is equal to 9 by 5 degree Celsius plus 32. Now if I talk about mass, mass of a gas is measured in gram or kilogram. 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram and the mass of the gas is expressed in the number of moles. Number of moles or mole, moles of a gas is equal to mass in gram by molar mass. So M by capital M and the number of moles that is equal to N. So if I talk about the mass in gram is equal to that is moles of gas into molar mass. This was the first session of this video. Very soon I am going to learn the second session also. There are total 8 sessions in the states of matter. I hope all of you have understood the concept. If any doubt then please drop it out into the comment box section. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. That's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Take care.